First forecast is brought to you by Storage at Home. Taking a look at this radar, we saw that earlier there were some showers that were tracking on through, and we're seeing that there's been continuing to be some showers in the Mississippi area, but we'll stay dry as we move through the evening and into this weekend as it looks like there's going to be plenty of sunshine around. Here's a quick look at that 24 hour rainfall total. We're seeing that we just sitting under a half an inch here in Alexandria and that looks like the picture across much of the state and we'll see that that rain's going to tamper off sunshine around and temperatures warming back up. We'll take a look at that full forecast here shortly. You're watching ABC 31. Welcome to ABC 31 News Tonight. I'm Scott Beadle. Election Day is almost here and early voting is taking place right now. If you need to know who's on the ballot or where to vote, you can simply go online or even use an app. ABC 31's Joanna Phillips has more in our big story tonight. Early voting began this week and will last until Tuesday, October 30th. For some, voting may be a first time experience. You're not sure who to vote for, what exactly you're voting for, where to vote, and the list goes on. If you're a newly registered voter, you do have to uh, vote in person the first time. And you come to the Registrar Voters Office during early voting, which is taking place now. If you need to find some information before you vote, like who's on the ballot or where to vote, you can easily do so online. A lot of people call us, they wanted to know how they can get a sample ballot. And, um, and it, that's important to a lot of people, so they're prepared ahead of time so they know how they're going to vote when they get to the machine and uh, they don't have to uh, spend as much time at the, at the machine. It, you know, they want to go ahead and do it and get it over with. You can go to govote.com and once you're there, you can click on the view sample ballot and polling location link. And then it'll take it to a, take you to another screen and you enter your name and it'll ask you for some identifying information about yourself and uh, it will automatically pull up your ballot. And you can print it out, or if you just want to look at it, that's good too. But if you'd like to print it out, there's an option there to print, and you can review it before you come to vote. There's also a Go Vote smartphone app that you can download to see what's on the ballot, where to vote, and get instant election results right in the palm of your hand. Election Day is November 6th. Joanna Phillips, ABC 31 News. A candlelight vigil is being held tonight for an NSU track and field athlete who suddenly died Sunday morning. 22-year-old Deshaun Gordon of Jamaica earned honorable mention for All-American honors in the 100-meter hurdles and the 4x100-meter relay at the NCAA Outdoor Championships. She had recently lived in Florida with her family. Alexandria police need your help in searching for a missing woman. She's 56-year-old Marsha Lonix, who is said to frequent the Bolton Avenue and downtown areas. She's 5'5 and weighs about 160 pounds. Please do call APD if you can help. Rapids deputies arrest a teacher for possession of alcohol on school property. They say it happened at Buckeye Elementary. The school administrator summoned a school resource officer, telling him 43-year-old Shannon Barron was drunk and maybe had alcohol in the classroom. Deputies say a partially consumed bag of wine was located in her room. She has been released on a $500 bond. The school board is expected to follow normal disciplinary procedures before permitting her back in the classroom. A man from Opelousas employed at the Dixon Prison in Baton Rouge is under arrest for reportedly smuggling contraband into the correctional center. 23-year-old Kelvin Smith is charged with malfeasance for taking cigarette lighters and tobacco into the prison. He'd been with corrections since July. Well, if you're hard of hearing, it can be a challenge to talk to friends and family, especially when they're far away. Ken Zanga of New Horizons Independent Living Center explains some of the options to keep in touch beyond texting and emails. Available. Okay. The main two programs I'm going to talk about today is the uh, telecommunication access program and the hearing aid program. First, I want to focus on the equipment that the state gives out. Um, you know, a lot of our people not, are not aware that we have this program, but we have amplified telephones that we can give out to people who are hard of hearing. Uh, then those who are very hard of hearing, we have caption telephones. On a caption telephone, what we have is that if you are hard of hearing and you can speak, everything the other person says will appear on this display. It doesn't appear on just automatically, it goes through a relay service. Right. And there's a person there who repeats everything that the other person says and a computer puts it on this screen. 
-hmm. So there's a little delay. Right. right. Um, we also have flashing doorbells. The thing about the doorbells is that none of them make any noise. They flash. This first one is integrated with a strobe light. The second one I'm showing you here has to be hooked to a lamp. Both of them are also alarm clocks. <clears throat> they both come with little bed shakers. These are very important because we have home health goes out to someone's house, uh, especially with our seniors, and they can't hear the phone ring, and they cannot hear someone at the door. door. Mm -hmm. And so the home health leaves. You can contact New Horizon Independent Living for pricing information. The Drug Enforcement Administration National Prescription Take Back Day is coming up this Saturday. ABC 31 Shar Thomas has more on how you can properly dispose of unused or expired prescription drugs. Tomorrow will be a good day to start fall cleaning. Saturday is National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. Cabrini Hospital along with Alexandria and Pineville Police Department are encouraging locals to get rid of unused and expired prescription drugs. The importance of giving back these meds is one, so they don't end up in the hands of children, absolutely, uh, as well as those that may have an addiction of some kind. We as human beings, we like to keep things and we like to store things and everybody knows you've been to your grandmother's medicine cabinet where they've had, you know, 10 or 15 bottles of medications that they've stored over the last months or a year or so. This day aims to provide a safe and responsible way of disposing prescription drugs while educating the general public about the potential for medication abuse. The take back is totally confidential. If you are interested, visit the Metaplex parking lot this Saturday at 10 a.m. Char Thomas, ABC 31 News. Growing flowering plants during the fall can make our yards look healthy and colorful. But according to LSU Ag Center horticulturist Dan Gill, it's not necessarily the season that dic dictates when to plant, but knowing the proper time to get those cool season plants into the ground. You know, the question that I get most often this time of the year, is it time to plant my pansies? Is it time to plant cool season bedding plants? Well, gardening is cyclic. We do about the same thing every year at about the same time. So it's very natural for us to think there are appropriate times of the year to do certain activities and other activities are done at other times. That's how gardening works. But if you think we garden by days on the calendar, oh, you're gonna be so disappointed because we don't. We garden by, by times of the year, not by dates on the calendar. So when people say, well, can I plant in September? Or can I plant in early October? It's not the calendar that we need to be looking at, y'all. It is the weather. And this year we have finally got some relief here in October, but September was brutally hot. We couldn't plant cool season bedding plants then. So here's the deal on how to plant cool season bedding plants. When your daytime highs tend to stay in the 70s and low 80s, and your nighttime lows are getting down into the 60s, even dipping down into the 50s, and that weather is holding, that's when you know it's time to get your cool season bedding plants in. Let the weather tell you. Don't plant in the middle of September just because that's when you think you ought to plant. Watch the weather. Now that it's cooled down, we can plant violas, snapdragons, dianthus, Here's some beautiful galardias, and these will all bloom for you into the fall, all through the winter intermittently, and then put on a grand display in the spring. So if you've been wondering, is it time to plant my cool season bedding plants yet? Well, look around, look at the weather we have now, and know that you can finally get those beds full of those beautiful flowers that you've been craving. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center. A new set of pups is getting ready for the mushing season in Colorado. Check out these adorable 10-week-old Alaskan Huskies. They're cute and cuddly, but soon they will be professional sled dogs. Seven or eight dogs will be strong enough to carry and transport about three people on a sled. Trainer Steven Peterson says they'll train four times a week, focusing on balance first, then they'll learn how to dodge obstacles and each other. It really is quite a quick process because it's so genetic for them and they love it. So they're very smart as well as very athletic. Sled dog season officially begins around mid-December. It's interesting because out of a lot of people, the three of us, I mean, I've seen that before. Like, I've seen sled dog races. The I've three of us are all gone. The areas where that stuff is, mm -hmm. you know, 
actually kind of common. Yes, very you know? common. And, and these dogs, they love it. They, oh, yeah. They're bred to run. They're oh, just geez. born to run. They love oh, running in that snow. In the cold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, the, and they're cute, too. So, I mean, you, can, uh, yeah. you can't say anything wrong about <laughs> that, too. <laughs> well, thanks for watching ABC 31 News. Have a great night.